Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and today we'll be looking at the what if team 2, seeing the best and worst ones and yeah, hope you enjoy. Starting off with Daniel Rawas, 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot, part of the lit gang and he's just an all round beast of a centre mid. Uh, Implies shadow and he's probably one of the best centre mids in the league. Um, with that stamina he can last the full game, great defending, dribbling's decent. Uh, passing's insane, shooting's insane, although you don't really need it for a CDM, and pace is there as well. So, all round beast of a centre mid. Uh, next up is, uh, what's his name? Vincenzo Griffo. Um, four star skills, four star weak for from the Bundesliga, Ita and he's Italian, so you can maybe do a hybrid. Um, uh, the, uh, for the actual card though, 91, 91 acceleration, 88 sprint speed is there, like, it's good, so it's a. Um, shooting's alright, you probably, I'd say probably apply a hunter to this card because the passing's insane and the dribbling's insane and the stamina's insane, so with a hunter he could be a great cam probably, not really a left winger. Uh, now moving on we've got Pepe, uh, two stuff with three star weak foot, which is actually pretty good for a defender. He's just basically Portuguese Van Dyke to be honest, he's got roughly the same pace and he's also got insane shoot not shooting uh insane defending and insane physical so if you like fan of van dyke and you have like i don't know like a portuguese team i mean it's hard to link but the card's decent with the agility and the he can pass as well so it's all around not the best card but it's still like usable and decent next up is diata from monaco so that's why he has good links and he also has four star four star insane pace insane shooting and 99 agility as well and 99 stamina so when this card gets upgraded, it's going to be, it probably already is the best right winger in La Liga. Especially with that upgrade, he's going to have maxed out pace, insane shooting and insane dribbling as well. So very nice card and yeah, definitely would recommend. Next up is Leicester's Ricardo Pereira. So Premier League, 5 foot 9, 4 star weak foot is all very good for a left back. She can get great links and will feel nice on the ball. Uh, 80, 88 pace is good to be fair. Passing sick and dribbling. Uh, defending's good as well, but the physical's not the best, but he can last a full game. And maybe with like an anchor, he could be a very nice um, right back or even a centre back. So the great links, and he's got a great card as well. I would definitely recommend him as well. Slaver, he plays for Lazio and he's Brazilian, so he has good links from Syria and Brazil, like Neymar or people like that. Overall, I wouldn't say the card isn't the best, but when he gets an upgrade, it'll be a very nice card. But right now, if you want to get part, get into like Div 2 or Div 1, I would probably stay away. Probably just because of the pace and the dribbling's not the best. Um, but, I mean, with the defensive and the passing, it's nice, but the rest of the card's not the best. So, But when he gets his upgrade, he's going to be a very nice card. But if you need someone to like link in your team to Neymar and Ronaldo, then I, I guess it could work. Brazilian this time from Everton four star skills five star weak foot is very nice uh, great pace uh, for a striker shooting's decent especially the finishing's nice uh, dribbling's not the best I mean physical's so nice but I'd say uh, I don't know his card's not the best I think we all expected a bit better from him so I would probably wait again if you want to get past the higher divisions wait for his upgrade especially as he's 1.1 1. 1, how's he 1.65 mil that's definitely not worth it for 1.65 mil definitely stay away from him unless you pack him yeah 1.65 mil is so 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 overpromised uh, next up is Thorvin a French camp from Ligon uh, coming in about 330k 4 star skills is nice but 3 star weak foot isn't the best uh, overall he's got great in game stats Decent pace, uh, good shooting for a cam, great passing and great dribbling. Uh, for 330k, I'd say he's probably worth it, and especially when he gets his upgrade, he's going to be an insane cam, probably the best in the league, and, but I can't remember who else there is. But it's a great card, and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, next up is uh, Regulon, a Premier League left back from Spain, so he has insane links. Overall, the card's very nice, um, and good pace. Passing's alright, but not the best, and great dribbling. The Fed League and Physical's not the best, but for 250k, I reckon it's more worth it just getting in from Tierney. Uh, he's probably he's got roughly the same stats, so and he's probably about 200k cheaper, so I'll probably stay away from him and get Tierney instead. Pismorales, a Spanish striker, 
four four. Uh, I mean, his card's insane, and when he gets to upgrade, he's gonna be one of the best strikers in the Liga. Um, but then you look at his price, and it's one point three million. So that's just not worth it at all. You could buy like Neymar and Mbappe for that price, so it's just definitely not worth it. I mean, his card. Don't get me wrong, his card's still insane, and maybe uh, the upgrade he'll nearly be worth that. But now, definitely not. And I would definitely stay away. Gwendouzi, and I'm pretty sure he's the objective card for this pro for this like team two promo. Uh, overall, he's got great links, being from um, Bundesliga, and he's French. And the card he's got. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, he's got decent pace, and the rest of his card is very nice. Uh, the passing's insane, dribbling's good for a CDM, uh, defending and physical. And I would say if he fits in your team, this card's definitely worth it. Uh, if he gets his upgrade, he'll have he'll have above 80 pace, and it'll be just a, such a nice card. So if it fits in your team, I'd say that's definitely worth your time, and I would definitely be see Christian Tello. High medium work rate, which is good, um, uh, and he has great links as well, being in La Liga. Um, insane pace, finishing's not the best, but you can just apply like a finisher to boost it. Passing's great for a striker, and dribbling's not the best, but then again, you can boost a finisher and it'll have insane on both shooting and finishing. And he can last a full match with a stamina as well. I mean, it's not the greatest card for, the, but I'm pretty sure it came in under like 150k, so I'd probably say that's probably the right price, but. Then again, you could use that info Carrasco off cam, who would probably be better as he's tradable. But if you have the folder and you have a really good team, I don't see re no reason why not. So it, it's just dependence if you have him in your team. Next up is the best card in this promo, um, Dries Mertens, four star, four star, uh, insane pace, insane shooting, insane dribbling, uh, and great passing. It can last for my just an insane card as well. Um, yeah, he can play striker, cam, or even on the wing. Um, and when he gets his upgrade, he's going to be one of the best cams. But, and I'd say he's worth a mil. And compared to that, Morales, who was 1.3 mil, he's a lot more worth it than that. Maybe still wait for his price to drop a bit more, but still a great card. Um, and for a decent price as well. Uh, so yeah, that's all the cards reviewed. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what else you want to see. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, and have a good rest of your day. See ya.